So, okay. A lot of people don't know here, because you didn't follow me on Twitter, I guess, um, <laughs> about how earlier this year um, and late last year, I was basically having a huge ident identity crisis, like gender crisis. I was going to say I gender crisis. <laughs> Um, and I just couldn't figure it out all my life, actually. I just could never figure out what I am, who I am, why I've never felt right being cis, why it was never right that I was cis, and how I've been basically living a cis lie ever since I've been claiming myself as cis, and... I'm a hundred percent, like, I'm, I was going to say I'm a hundred percent non-binary and there's no lie to that. Yeah, some days I'm more, like, this is a babbling shit and I'm sorry, there's going to be so many likes and ums. <laughs> it's personal stuff and it's hard to talk about and I think that's why I just stammer and stutter so much about it. Um, but at the beginning of, um last year around my niece's birthday um i had been going through gender identities online because i'm a loser and i do that and i saw the gender identity demi woman or demi girl and i was like that's it that's it i've never been fully a woman because that other part of me has just been non-binary it's been queer and the older i get the larger that queer part has been growing and pushing the woman to the side more and more often than not, which is why I also say I'm gender queer. So, and yeah, it does make me fall under the trans umbrella, which is kind of cool because I've always, I don't know, but yeah, um, that's cool. <laughs> that's like the best part of it, I guess. Just, being a part of this community, knowing who I am, knowing what I am finally, and being able to be comfortable in my own skin, seeing the beauty in myself at last, and just finally, finally being myself. And if you don't like it, you don't have to be here. Swipe up. But for the rest of you, that's who I am. And I, um... Look forward to having you here along the ride. Yeah. So thanks for listening and...